Torah. This year is entitled, Don't Be Afraid of New Mitzvot. So we have a beautiful Shulchan Aruch that covers many of the mitzvot, of the daily mitzvot. But the mitzvot are not covered in the Shulchan Aruch, because Shulchan Aruch deals with the mitzvot that apply during his time, 500 years ago, as opposed to the Rambam. His 14 books of halacha cover the whole gamut of halacha. So the Shulchan Aruch is an incredible work, and it has merited incredible divine providence. The Shulchan Aruch, together with Ramah, is the book of Allah of Akla Yisrael, for Sephardim and Ashkenazim. Amazing. But there's a caveat. The caveat is, what happens to those areas that are not covered in the Shulchan Aruch? But, Baruch Hashem, they make a comeback. So sometimes a person can have the attitude of Chadash Asim La Torah, this is what I keep, and things that are not written, there's no new things, we don't do new things. And that's a very dangerous approach. It's one thing to take the line Chadash Asim La Torah, something new we don't do. That's what Rav Chassam Sofa said 200 years ago, where he said, that the reform movement, they're bringing organs into the shuls, like the Christians, like the churches, oh, that's others, we don't do that. Okay, what if we have a new mitzvah, but it's not new from our tradition, it's just we haven't done it. So one would be tchelet, wearing tchelet. So if someone says, I went through all the sources, and I'm totally convinced this cannot be the right tchelet, that's one thing. I understand, though. Someone says, I've gone through the sources, and tchelet needs to have an old tradition, that's what Rabbi Soloveitchik meant it. Okay. But someone has a knee-jerk reaction. No, no, no. My grandfather didn't wear trailers. My great-grandfather didn't wear trailers. I'm not going to wear trailers. Wait a second. Yes, your grandfather didn't wear it, but maybe there's a new situation. There's a new reality. New facts on the ground. So a person should not be crippled because, oh, oh we didn't do it 100 years ago. It's not a healthy approach. Harabayit. No, no, I'm not going to get Harabayit. My great-grandfather didn't go. The Grod didn't go. Wait a second. I understand it's not, uh, there's not too many halachas in the Shulchan Aruch, but how about it? Maybe just the only halacha is that you do Kriya when you see the uh, Makam HaMikdash, otherwise you don't have it discussed. And it wasn't done. But the reaction, oh, they didn't do it, I'm not going to do it. That's not a healthy reaction. You're not going to do it because your Rebbe said not to do it, that's fine. But if you're the Rebbe and you're the post sake, well, why are you saying not to do it? He's saying, well, I'm afraid that if you're going to go to this area, you're going to end up in the wrong area. Okay, that's, that's a rational position, possibly. We can discuss that. Or I did all the archaeological studies, and I'm not convinced this is the right area. And maybe this is that the wrong area. Okay, that's a discussion. But to say, I'm not going to do this, because we didn't do this 100 years ago, 200 years ago, I don't know anything new. Wait a second. This is not new. This is... 3,300 years old. This goes back to Sinai. The Migdash is back at Sinai. Tchelis is back to Sinai. But unfortunately, it was lost over the years. So, Chas Shalom, I could see someone building the Mizbeach, and we bring Korbanot, and other people screaming, No, Chadash Asim in the Torah, don't bring Korbanos. Because it didn't fall from Shemayim the way people expected to, the Migdash. And now that everyone is involved in Korbanos right away, like people dream that it will be. It may not be so simple. And I could see people say, no, 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 we don't bring Korbanos. Chadash Asim the Torah. So it's very important that we are totally anchored in the Shulchan Aruch and the hundreds of mitzvahs that he brings down. We were not limited to the Shulchan Aruch. That, oh, it wasn't the Shulchan Aruch. My great grandfather didn't do it. So that's it. End of discussion. No. We need to go with Chachma Bin and Dat, look at every new scenario that comes up, and to see, wow, not only should we not be crippled and think, I can't, I can't, I can't, like, oh my gosh, this is a renaissance of a mitzvah that we haven't had for hundreds or thousands of years. What is a chut? Let's investigate it and see if we can get another mitzvah of the 613 back. And Yitz Hashem, here we have we should have all of the 613 mitzvah back speedily in our days. Shalom.